Hello guys, today I'll be talking about my top 20 favorite Bush songs. And this was requested by one of my viewers, 40 year old boy. Thank you for the request. So when it comes to Bush, I like this band. Never really, never really loved them, but I've always liked the band overall. Uh, they are a band that I did get into earlier this year. So I am a bit of a, I'm still a bit of a newer fan, but yeah, overall still a solid band. Sure, they're maybe not one of my personal favorites, but still a pretty solid band, I'd say. Especially, you have some pretty solid stuff from the early work, too. But even with their later stuff, they have some pretty good stuff, too. Especially with their latest album. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this top 20. And this top 20 is in no particular order, but the first song I want to talk about is Everything's In. One of their bigger songs, and... Ever since I became a fan, this has always been one of my personal favorites. Always has been a song that's really, I guess, stuck with me as I've got on to be a fan. But next we have Come Down, another big anthem for them. And before getting into Bush, I always knew of this song. It was a song that I'd hear once in a while. And yeah, all around a pretty solid song, I'd say. And that was definitely a, re a big reason why it's one of their big anthems. I mean, the song, it's catchy, it has a memorable chorus, and yeah, all around, again, a pretty solid song. And next you have Warm Machine, which is de easily one of my favorites from the Science of Things album, which is probably my second favorite Bush album. But next you have Blood River from their latest album, The Kingdom, and that's one of my personal favorites from that album. The thing I like about this song is really the riffs. Uh, the main riff is just heavy and just really pulls into the song and i also like the chorus too but yeah all around a pretty pretty good song i just really again really like the heaviness of the song but next we have machine head another big song for them and the guitar work is memorable and you also have a memorable chorus too that's also catchy and definitely one of their bangers really good really great song but next we have glycerine Arguably, maybe their biggest song, and it's not my favorite, not my favorite Bush song, but again, still a solid song, and definitely one of their best songs easily. The next we have Body, and then when it comes to the non-singles of 16 Stone, this is probably my favorite, again, of the non-singles. Kind of an underrated song, I'd say. Then we have Swallowed from their album Razor Blade, uh, Razor Blade Suitcase, and this was one of the singles off that album, and yeah, easily one of my favorites from that album. And yeah, I have heard the comparisons to Nirvana's In Utero with this song, and of course some other songs from that album, but that doesn't really bother me all that much. And yeah, still an overall pretty solid song, and definitely one again one of my favorites. Then we have Jesus Online, which is definitely a contender for being maybe my favorite song off of the Science of Things, either that song or uh, Chemicals Between Us. And then one other song that I'm linking on on the moment, or at the moment, but yeah, Jesus Online, definitely a great song. But next we have Greedy Fly and if I remember correctly, this is the opener to Razor Blade Suitcase, and definitely a great opener. Um, easily one of the better songs of that album. And Razor Blade Suitcase is a pretty good album. Um, not my favorite album by Bush, but I do think it is one of their probably one of their best albums, I'd say. But when it comes to my favorite albums by them, 16 Stone and Science of Things are probably my favorites. But yeah, Greedy Fly, pretty good song. Then you have The Chemicals Between Us, which is probably the big song off of The Science of Things. And yeah, I liked it when Bush experimented a bit more with electronics and other sounds. And I think they did a good job with that on that album. I think it worked for their sound. And the song is no exception. I think it proves that, or it proves what I said. But next we have Solutions. And this is easily one of my favorites from uh, Golden State, which, to be honest, I think that album is just okay. Never really been an album that's really grabbed me all as much as other albums in their discography. Not my least favorite album by them or anything, but still, 
I think it's just an okay album, but I think this is one of the bright spots off that album and definitely one of my favorite Bush songs. I think the song has solid melody to it. And then you have Flowers on a Grave. Um, definitely, I know I remember this song doing well uh, commercially. I know it uh, charted well, if I remember correctly, also. Fairly good song, definitely one of their one of the best songs they've done so far when it comes to their modern era, I'd say. And then we get to Bullet Holes, which is on the soundtrack of one of the John Wick movies, and another highlight for me off their latest album, The Kingdom. So then we have The Sound of Winter, which is from their comeback album. I think many of us can agree that it's definitely one of the best songs from that album. Yeah, I mean... It's catchy, it's memorable, and it feels like classic Bush to me. The next we get to Insect Ken, which in my opinion is probably one of their most underrated songs. And, say, and you know, I can maybe say the same thing with, with the next song I'm going to talk about, All My Life, which is also from their comeback album. Um, ever since I heard it, it was, always, it was a song that just immediately really stood out to me from that comeback album. Uh, really great song. But then we have Head Full of Ghosts, which is another favorite of mine from Golden State. And then we have The Afterlife, which is another song in their discography that I feel is kind of underrated. But then we get to finally the last song here, The Only Way Out. And this is probably my favorite off of Man on the Run, that album. And that's another album that I think is just okay. Um, never really been an album that really, I guess, stood out to me or grabbed me as much as other albums in their discography, but I think this song is one of the bright spots off that album, and again, probably my favorite off that album. But anyways, that's my top 20. Let me know your thoughts on my top 20 Bush songs. Let me know your top 20 or top 10 or top 5, whatever you'd like, and all that good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe. Have a nice day and take care.